the Met is to review the actions taken by police officers during a three-day armed standoff with a man thought to have stockpiled petrol in his home. It ended after police raided the property in Northolt last night and arrested him. Around 80 people who were evacuated during the negotiations have now been allowed to return home. Amelia Papadopoulos has more. A three-day siege, finally over, and residents at last able to return home. Many of them forced to leave in the early hours of Friday when police were called to reports of a man inside a property who may have stockpiled petrol and other combustible materials. Well, the standoff between armed police and the man who was barricaded inside this ground floor flat lasted for 67 hours. He refused to engage with police and when negotiations were unsuccessful, that's when they decided to break in. You can see uh, all the broken glass here at the front of the property and they also broke in at the back as well. The man in his 40s was taken out safely and he was arrested on suspicion of cultivation of cannabis, a fray and also offences under the Explosives Act. He's in a West London police station. Earlier I spoke to the Metropolitan Police and they said that this operation was successful because it ended safely. And nobody's been hurt you know, and we've made sure that the public, you know, their safety was safeguarded the individual concerned is safe and well and none of the responders um, are injured or um, hurt. For residents, relief that things could now go back to normal. Shock in a way that this happened in my, our neighbourhood. But then, uh, you know, I praise the police that they did really took uh, good care of us by telling us to move. If we didn't and it would have been blown, we would have all, it would have been a big hole in uh, North Salt here. Today the property was still cordoned off as police continued their investigations. The Met will now review the operation and make sure officers did everything to minimise the impact on the local community. Amelia Papadopoulos, BBC London News.